All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Kevin again with Yerky Racing. Uh, we're back out here again today with the boat. Uh, we're going to do another prop change on it and see if we can get our mile an hour up like we were looking to do. In the last video, we swapped to a, from a 10 pitch to an 8 pitch and picked up a little bit of speed there. Uh, but the, the RPMs are kind of out, out of the range I want them to be in. They're a little high, so I'm trying to bring them back down and hopefully net even a few more mile an hour. Um, right now, it started with the 10 pitch. We didn't have enough motor to turn it. Um, went to the 8, we got enough motor to turn it, but it runs out of RPMs before we get to the speed we're looking for. So hoping this 9 pitch is going to be the sweet spot in the middle. Uh, we're going to jump right in and try it out. Let's get it. Alright guys, so if you joined us on the last one, um, like I said, we did that 8 pitch change. Um, I'll put it in right here. Alright, I'm just going to kind of give it to it all at once. Let's see where we got. Let's see how fast it comes up. So now, like I said, we just want to get the RPMs to a little bit better spot, hoping to get a few more mile an hour than what that one gave us, um, you know, and at a reasonable RPM. So uh, if you paid attention on the last one, if you saw the whole video, uh, or you can go back and look at it if you want. We did a, you know, kind of went over what to do, but I'll do it again real quick, I guess. Um, you just pop this little pin out, back the nut off. There's a spacer that pulls up. You make sure you get that spacer because you're going to need to re reuse it on this one. Uh, pull the old prop out, new prop goes on, spacer back on, nut back on, and pin. It's that simple. Um, so we're not going to do a whole bunch of time trying to get that in the video this time. Uh, we're just going to knock it out. Let's get it. Alright guys, so this is our new prop. Uh, that's the numbers off of it if anybody's interested. Like I said, nine and a quarter by nine pitch stainless steel. Just gonna line it up on the splines. There it goes, drop down. Spacer back on neck. Nut on there. And pin back in. And that's it. Looks pretty good. Should do good for us. Let's go to the water and give it a try, guys. Alright, guys. So, we're back out here at the lake. Uh, we're going to check and see if this thing has gotten any better. I hope it has, but not really sure. So, anyway, we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. enjoying the video just want to take a second to invite you over to your racing spread shop where you can find all sorts of merchandise you name it it's probably in there so go over find you something you like take a picture of it in action and send it over to us at your kid underscore all at yahoo.com i think it'd be a really cool thing if we could include some of these pictures at the end of our videos and share it with the rest of the community every order you place on this site is greatly appreciated and it really goes a long ways to make sure that we're able to continue to bring you the content just like this okay uh, that's not exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> this is actually very similar to how the 10 pitch prop was RPM wise and mile an hour too, maybe even a hair off of that, a hair slower than that. Uh, the only thing I can think is, is because of the 
extra weight of the stainless prop. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't really make sense for it to do that. See, it should be better. It should be somewhere in the middle of the 10 and the 8 that we did. Obviously, it's kind of right in the middle, but uh, frustrating. So I guess there's one thing left to do, and that's try an aluminum 9 9-inch prop. I mean, uh, sorry, an aluminum 9-pitch and see what that does. Um, pretty disappointed. We're going to run it back up here uh, towards the no wake zone just see if we can get any more than that maybe it was like a fluke deal or something but I doubt it uh, I'll also after this one I'm gonna go back we're gonna end up putting the hydrofoil back on that we installed initially and see if that will pick up uh, you know the motor a, a little bit further out of the water and maybe that will be better with the 9 pitch with the 10 it hurt but I it won't it won't be you know but a second to try it and we can find out so anyway let's go Alright guys, so like I said, we're going to end up trying that hydrofoil on it. Hopefully that'll pick us up out of the water just a little bit more. Maybe give us that last little bit we need to get on plane with this prop. Um, if not, the only other thing I can think is to try a 9 pitch, but in aluminum where it's a little bit lighter. Um, I don't know, kind of disappointed with this one, but all we can do is keep trying. Alright, so we came back out to the house. We're going to go ahead and throw these... Um, Aero Stingray Hydrofoil back up here see how it works out Hopefully this will maybe pick it up a little bit create a little bit less drag Get us a little closer to the power band where this thing can actually get up in some RPMs Because what we had going on yesterday Was not ideal 